corner forward, Billy Dooley. That's a good point by Billy Dooley. That's exactly what Offaly needed, really, just to keep in close contact with Dublin. He tries to out straight down the middle. John Toomey gathered it. It was known as a hospital pass, but he survived it. Shea Fleming sending it in towards Tony Costello. Dangerous ball. Jim Toy can't hold on to it. Brian McMahon on it like a tiger and sending it straight over the bar. Brian McMahon getting his first break, really, and his very first score. Offley forwards trying to create a bit of room. Here okay, is Billy Dooley telling his brother Johnny to leave it. And the brothers combined beautifully. Super point for the Offaly then and over the bar. There's a very good ball across the field again by Joe Dooley and then up with Billy Dooley who takes an excellent point with his left hand. But a good play by Joe Dooley who was under pressure himself in the corner and it's something I often say to young players try and always look for a forward who's available. If you're under pressure pull the ball back out the field and try and bring, bring the other forwards into play. Corner forward coming way out the field. Lovely skill by McDermott. Good play by Johnny Pilkington into Sean Kearns the O'Toole's man from the county champions puts it over the bar Sean Kearns puts Dublin back in front well pulled on goes down towards Murty Ryan and this is Ryan Mannion the well be the inspiration and the difference between defeat and victory Damien Byrne brought off a brilliant save from Joe Dooley but it's all in vain because it's a free from where the ball landed Tony Dooley with this free to level the match the break has come and it's come for the league champions it came out of absolutely nothing possibly a lack of concentration by the Dublin defence thinking that Johnny Dooley was going to put it over the bar instead he put it into the net Colin McGillon sending it down towards Tony Costello and interesting Jimmy Barry Murphy your prediction is right Brian McLahan has gone in full forward Martin Hanamy now at full back giving it out to Michael Dykton and look at that for harassment by Dublin comes to Joey Morris MJ Ryan is to his right but Joey goes solo and it's a wonderful solo effort by Joey Morris he's certainly causing problems for Offaly he scored two points but he's contributed a lot more than that. Tony Costello, unable to get a hurley to it. This time, trying to pick it up. Costello, getting it inside. MJ Ryan telling Murphy to leave it. I'll put it over the bar, says MJ. And that's exactly what he's after doing. And Tottenham have gone back in front. Two very valuable points by MJ Ryan. And that's determination. Here Colopoli again, the far side, Johnny Pilkington, on his way through, great run by Pilkington, and eventually it's Colin McGillan that stops him, comes out to his brother Declan, Donnie Regan, has the opportunity, the sides deadlocked once again, and what will the Leinster Council do if this is a draw? This is Brian Kelleher, doing well, beginning it outside, down towards his midfielder comes to John Toomey John Murphy giving it outside Seamus Morgan he may not be a hero in Shinron tonight but he'll certainly be a hero in Dublin this is Joachim Kelly trying to get it in but there's no one there except John Toomey and the siege is lifted once again Ryan Mannion underneath it, comes to Rory Boland, outside to MJ Ryan, all they have to do now is hold on to it, MJ taking on Brian Wheelahan and Ryan Mannion, Martin Hanemey knocking it down for Ryan Mannion to send it back up, nobody there except Sean Kearns, sending it in, gathered by Brian McMahon, twisting, turning, getting it, going the outside of the frame, he's given penalty, Here's MJ. Over the bar. Dublin has 
surely be in the Leinster final. Five points for MJ and five points are enough for MJ and Dublin. Dublin have beaten the league champions of 1991 and Offaly cannot believe it. Dublin then the first to qualify for the Leinster final.